everybody, we're the Anim Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Thursday afternoon, April the 5th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Ozone Park, New York, first for race 7, 317 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Phillies and Mares, three years old and up, race for a claiming prize of some $20,000. Contenders number seven, Soldierette. The paired entry of number 1A, Too Tough Sissy, and the stable mate number 1, My Sydney Girl, on my list, along with number 5, Nolita, and number 8, Number 1, Cherry. Number 7, Soldier Ed, a 4 to 1 shot on top, is the overall speed leader in this claiming field this afternoon. Racing at her about 6 furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in each of her 4 outings, facing better company in each of those races than she faces in this test today. Number 1A, Too Tough Sissy, the morning line favorite, has produced a quartet of power runs in her last five adventures, including a power run win in her fourth race back. Her stable mate, number one, My Sydney Girl, the pace profile leader, comes off a uh, power run win her last time out. Race 7 summary, number 7, Soldierette, tops the contenders list, which also includes the paired entry of number 1A, Too Tough Sissy, and the stable mate, number one, My Sydney Girl. Also making my contenders list number 5, Nolita, and number 8, number 1, Cherry7158, in the 7th from the Big A. Go to Pimlico in Baltimore for race 9, 4.55 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 6 for a long sprint on the dirt, 3 year olds and up race for an optional claiming prize of $41,000. Contenders number 3, Malibu Kid, number 1, Ken's Cape, number 5, D. Lonnie, and number 2, not for silver. Number three, Malibu Kid, a 5 to 1 shot on top, folks, is the overall speed and pace profile leader in this optional claiming field today. Sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt has hit the board in power run fashion at five straight starts, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Travis Dunkelberger and trainer Rodney Jenkins sent a post this afternoon. They've hit the board with 63% of their entry saddles and team to date. Number one, Ken's Cape is excellent early speed for this sprint. Has hit the board in five straight starts, including a trio of power run wins found in his second, fourth, and fifth races back. Race number nine summary, number three, Malibu Kid tops the contenders list today, which also includes number one, Ken's Cape, number five, Delani, and number two, Not for Silver, 3152 in the ninth today from Pimlico. Go to Gulfstream Park next for race 9, 5.05 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Five for a long sprint on the turf. Phillies and Mares, four years old and up, rates for an optional claiming prize of $66,100. Contenders number three, Lady Rizzy. Number nine, Pyrite Storm. Number seven, Look at Me Dance. And number six, Revenue. Number three, Lady Rizzy, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, drops in class by five units. She's turned in a quartet of power run performances in her last five adventures, hitting the board in a pair, including a power run win, facing better company in her third race back. Number nine, Pyrite Storm, an eight to one shot, comes off a power run show finish in her last outing in a race which was contested at today's Trackmaster Plus class level of 98, missing a circle trip in that race by less than a length at the wire. Race 9 summary, number 3, Lady Rizzy, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 9, Pyrite Storm, number 7, Look at Me Dance, and number 6, Revenue, 3976 in the ninth from Gulfstream Park. A couple of bonus long shots you to ponder today. Let's go to Charlestown first, race 7, entry number 5, Golden Hall, 8 to 1 in the morning line, takes a 7 level Trackmaster class drop. The speed leader in this claiming field sprinting at or about this afternoon's distance of six and one half furlongs on the dirt. Sam Houston Race Park, race eight, number four, winning on my mind, four to one on the morning line, takes a big class drop of 22 units, slightly better speed for the sprint than the favorite, number 10, Cowboy Dan. So handicapping on a Thursday afternoon from the Big A Aqueduct, Pimlico and Gulfstream Park, repeat him for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head. Not over it.